morning guys. We're up bright and early to go do ponies. Last night we arrived at NPS Summer Champs uh, about eight o'clock and we're here for three days of showing. So, and we're sleeping in the horse box and we'll, you'll see our setup. And again, it's pretty similar to Scotland, but. Oh, it's, I think it, we've upgraded. We have upgraded a bit, apart from having no dinner last night. Yeah, that was a massive fail. That was a bit of a fail. Last night it was pouring it down with the rain and we had to do so much. We had to set the gazebo, the gazebo up, we had to get the ponies in their stables, we had to set up straw, we had to go get the straw, we had to do multiple trips there and back to get the hay nets and rugs and feeds, feeds and oh we had to do so much. It was... I felt like crying. It, it, it was a I need to cry moment but... It wasn't easy. It was not easy. So, got the ponies, hay nets. And then they've got the feeds under here. Feeds Luckily, underneath. they've got the same feed. They eat the same. Oh, yeah, Panda and Rolo had exactly the same thing, which made things so much easier. But we had to bring so much stuff, I don't know how we did it this. I know. So there are hundreds of horse boxes here. Mm. And we might be able to, like, because we're not going to have as much, like, stuff. It's going back, like, I, I reckon the hay nets took up most of the room, don't you? Oh, yeah, the hay nets took up loads of room. Oh my god, they literally took up like half of the horse box. It was. Found a wasn't sure where to put his face, was he, bless him? No, they... he found a little <laughs> space. <laughs> Have you got a photo of it? No, but I was looking at him in the camera and I, I think just... I think Grandad has. Oh, really? Yeah, but it was literally like. Oh, we've got no Grandad this trip, have we? No. We've done it on our own. It took us about 45 minutes to set the gazebo up. Yeah, it did. I reckon I could do it in 10 minutes next time. So this is where all of the temporary stables are. So and we're in one of these. Is he okay? Yeah. Oh, he's got a bit of sunshine. Umbrella, what's happened to your rug, darling? What's he done? It's Open in his it butt cheeks. Oh my god. And why is your bucket in your bucket? Let's have a look. He's like, oh, so um, he's put his feed bucket in his water bucket. I want to know how you got this one done, Rolo. He's like, well, I so how has, has he got that undone? I've got no idea. He's like, hi, mummy. I, I had a bit of a surprise for you. You crazy? Is that much hay? No, he's just trying to eat the grass in there. There's grass it? underneath and he's just going for it. So that's why he's just <laughs> turfed up his bedding. Oh, he's found a nice patch. This is back. Hi, Tango! Hello. Oh, I can tell you've been sleeping because there's no need to be daddy on the other side. No. He's in one piece. He's in one piece. Right, she do a new hay now. Is he at much of a oh, is that quite a bit? Is it more than Rolo? Rolo's just going for the grass. Oh it just looks like a unicorn this pony. Look at him. Look at you, it's so gorgeous, darling. Just making the ponies their breakfast. Didn't bring my feed mixer. Oh, they'll mix that up. Right. I can't believe you're doing that. What? Doing what? This? Yeah. Low is just having a bit of extra grass in it. We're going to hand graze him in a minute. Mm. He just wants the grass, doesn't he? Just wants the grass. Look, I'm, sh sh Look about that. I'm shaving all this back for you just so you can eat it. Look. There's 
Who in here? I wouldn't really think about eating it if I was you, darling. She's like, what are they trying to feed me? My brother's poop. a lot cleaner than Rayla because Rayla's poos were all buried under the straw. The panda likes to have them on top so we can sit in them. Yeah. You can tell that one's been sat in because it looks a bit... Squished. Yes. Lovely. Looks a bit flat. So, a little shop here. Take a Grab right. some bits. Looks like some little... This is amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Have you got little pot noodles, man? We need We've got some a milk. Bit of everything. Got everything in here. So we got our shopping. We've got We're doing some the milk. morning sweep. M milk and water. We also <laughs> just went to the tax shop and bought some stocks. A stock and some, some coat shine spray. There. Should we go have a look in there as well? Yeah, we do need a navy jacket if Harlow gets in the evening performance, um, which is tonight and tomorrow. Yeah, that milk weighs a ton. It's made this like so heavy. Is it right? Let's go to the secretary's tent. I've got to change the entries, darling. So we're just heading in here now to change the entry and to collect Harlow's back number. So guys, we are all tacked up. We're really just having a bit of a hello stand moment, me dear lens. And uh... Oh, yes, Would you like a polo? Would you like a polo polo? Free treat, free show treats. Yeah. Would you like a polo polo? Would you like two polos? Oh my gosh, at once? Okay, okay, okay. Even when he's eating from your hand, he's like... He's crazy. He's actually bit my hand before by doing that, and it really hurt. Would you like another polo? Another polo? Oh my god. Oh my god. Calm down, boy. Water, boy. Right. I need to get it out of the packet first. He's like, just hurry up before I get out open this myself if I could. But I don't have fingers or thumbs. I only got little chompy teeth. My little turkey teeth. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be in the ring in about half an hour and then we've got panda after. Um, we've got panda after, about like an hour after. Yeah, so we'll head straight back and change the ponies. Head straight back, change the ponies. He's probably gonna need a bit of a wash because I like peeped inside of his snuggie hood on his face and it was pooey. So our first class of the day was the M&M Junior Small Breeds and I think there's about 20 to 30 ponies in this class but it's also a Hoys qualifier so that's why it's so busy. We haven't qualified for Hoys yet but we've had lots of seconds, thirds and fourths but all we need is that win and I've been, sometimes I've had like the highest ride mark or I've been in the top two or three highest ride marks so we're so close but not there yet. I actually came joint second in this class. Second and third had joint marks, but I was just placed in third. Which is really amazing because the quality of the ponies in these Hoys classes is just, they're so strong classes and they're really hard to win. There's no ticket today, unfortunately, but I'm so happy with how everything went. So guys, I just came third in my Hoys qualifier. I am over the moon. Let's you were- lucky. I'm really, really happy with my show. He was such a good boy, and he just ha actually had to go get drug tested for the second time this year. Yeah, um, as soon as you come out the ring, they were like, "Let's play, please." Um, and they just do it at random. Yeah, yeah, they just do it at random, and it's happened to us twice. So, yeah, he just had to have a blood test, did not he? Yeah, and I, I did that same thing again where I started to zone out. Because you didn't think he was getting called. Cool. So you didn't get a pull, did you? Like in the no. go round. But then he got third. And place. there were some really nice ponies in that class as well. So oh, I was that like, that class was huge. It was huge. 
there were some really nice ponies in there and I was just like we ever in a million years am I even gonna get top top five and we knew it was like a Welsh judge didn't we yeah they liked All they liked the Welshes and so it was a Welsh uh, first two was a Welsh and then it was Rolo the Dartmoor mm -hmm. second so he, or third he did third. amazing he was very good boy. so now we've got to do a bit of a swap over oh Oh, he wants an itch. Oh, she wants itches. He, we need to put uh, Rolo away. Panda out. Panda out. And they need to warm Panda up. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Skull, skull, need. What? What's he done? Oh my god! I really like it. No, no. L lift it up, see what it's like underneath. I'm too scared. Moment of oh, oh my <laughs> god! No! I don't think he's even going to make his class on time. Right, bought, we need, we need to go. That is so bad. Oh my god. No. This is just not fair. Panda, on the day of the show, the same from Johnny Boy. But this is that we're literally one hour before the show. He's not been warmed up, worked in, sacked up. Would you want me to wash that bucket? Oh, Panda, that was not what we needed, darling. Not today. Good job it's not a Hoy's qualifier. I don't care what show it is. <laughs> it's not okay. It's not okay, Panda. I thought he was a bit suspicious when he was coming out of his stable. He was a bit too quiet for my liking. Now I see what I pee and. Hand of hand. Oh this is no. something that no white spray will Guys, we made it in the ring and he's drying off as we're going round the ring. That was crazy and I don't even think the judge is gonna know what he looked like from 20 minutes ago. So it's Panda's turn now and we are in the M&M Junior at Large Breeds and it's not a qualifier, it's just like an MPS sort of show to have fun with. With Panda it's all about gaining experience and mileage because he's never really done showing. He literally did like three shows before we got him. So he's still a bit new to this and I am as well because I've only started this year with Rolo. So it's all about gaining experience together and having fun. I think we came fourth or fifth, which I was really pleased about. Um, we're still getting used to each other a little bit in the show ring because everything's completely different on the day. But yeah, I'm super pleased with how that turned out and it's there's always room for improvement. So now I'm straight in the ring, I'm on Rolo. I had to quickly jump off Panda and get onto Rolo. Um, I also had no warm up for this, but we had the other class before, so that was kind of a warm up. But this is a NPS qualifier.
me and Rolo came third. It's a day of thirds, guys. But now I have to quickly rush out the ring to go to another class, which I'm doing the unmatchy pairs where my friend Claudia is riding Panda. But I had to trot down the footpath i'm surprised like a steward didn't shout at me or something but i had to trot down there race to the ring to meet claudia and panda and then go straight into the ring we've had no practice at all so we're going into the ring trotting around next to each other in the unmatchy pairs with no practice at all so this is the first time claudia's ever rode panda she did have a little bit of a warm-up whilst I was doing my other show like four minutes ago. Um, but we're here just now trying to figure out where we're gonna go. But it's just a fun little class. It's the Unmagic Pairs and it's something we really, really wanted to do together. I've never actually seen this class being done before or been in a class like this before. So I've got no idea what to expect. I also don't know how the boys are going to react going round next to each other because this is something neither of them have ever done. But without further ado, let's start our show. So here we're just walking away from the judge and you can really see the height difference in them. Um, I can't imagine what is going to be going on. But first of all, we are like four miles apart from each other. Um, Rolo's having a very hard time keeping up there. He's already done two classes. His little legs are doing overtime. Panda's trotting as slow as he possibly can. And there is just a massive gap between each other. Some ponies had such elegant shows and were like glued next to each other. And then we're just like four miles apart and then boom, like we're in each other. So everything's going a bit crazy. Um, and this is the part where we really are one's on Mars, one's on Jupiter. I mean, like, what is that space difference? Rolo's in one country, Panda's in the other, and now Rolo's legs are doing overtime trying to catch up to Panda, and Panda can't canter or trot any slower than he possibly can. It definitely wasn't the best show, but we had a lot of fun, and throughout the whole round, me and Claudia were like, I'm about to walk and trot on and canter and whoa, 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 slow down. But yeah, it was really fun and it was something we both wanted to do. Well, I thought I thought Rolo was a really good boy, and Panda was like, "Where's my friend gone?" But I know because I, I was really like good. all the way over there, and Panda was like, "I'm going <laughs> as slow as I can. Hurry up, Rolo!" Like, I wrote, Panda was like, he was really slow, and I then Rolo was like, "Wait for me! I'm coming!" But I thought the boys were really good. Like, they've not done something like that before. Well, so. you had no practice. No practice. No. Straight out the ring for you. Yeah, I, I, I had to miss my lap of honour. I was like, right, I'm trotting down the footpath. <laughs> we had to get going, didn't we? So some of the time, Harge, you were like a bit spaced apart. Yeah. What happened? I think He's small, he's big. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they literally love each other so much. Like this is, oh. no, this is the best pair. Oh, this is so oh. cute. I can't cope. <laughs> Sam. This I is the best. They, they they're winners in my eyes. No, I thought, oh, look at them. I thought they went really well. I thought it was so oh, much fun. Me oh, and Harlow were told the whole oh way round. Oh, oh god. You can't you can't like beat in each other. Oh <laughs> Rolo. Don't blind yourself. They're literally obsessed. They're obsessed. <laughs> they are so obsessed. There we go. There we go. Oh no, what have you done to your fall up? How cute. That was so fun though. It was really, really fun, and I don't really mind if we get first. Like, it was just such a night. It'll be so such fun a good in the evening performance. So, so you're going in the evening performance to find out where you came, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. How exciting! I know. Pretty boys. Yeah. And all the lights on, all the music. Is it? Amazing? You've done it before. I've done it once before, Mary on the Concord, and it was really fun. Really fun. We dressed up, and it was so cool. <laughs> I'm still obsessed. <laughs> Is that nice? 
Yeah. Rollo, I can see your teeth. <laughs> Has he just got the best teeth ever? No, yeah, panda, I'm not good, Rollo. Panda, you can't. The no, best not me. Teeth I've ever seen. <laughs> That's what panda just did to me. You're so cute. Oh, I could eat him up. Oh boy, it's little and large. Oh, God. <laughs> They're nice. <laughs> They're so cute. Hi, Hi Panda. Hi, Panda Pops. <laughs> <laughs> They're really loving this. <laughs> Is that what you've been wanting? Not to too get? much love, Panda. <laughs> He's got to do show tomorrow. He goes, I stop. <laughs> so the boys are going to have a little break. What are you doing in their house? Hay nets and then I just marked them out. Did you see the squash poo that he led in? Oh it yeah. It was like cow pat. It was like a pancake. It was a pancake. It was a panda pancake. Uh huh. Boy. And who have we got here? <laughs> Giving me the side eye. Oh, you're so cute. Nothing in there apart from your poo that you pooed in it. Right. There you go. I chucked your rag on because I want to keep them half clean. Yeah, not like earlier. No, that was a bit of a design. Bless him. So you're going to go top up the waters now? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We'll go get some food. Yes. Yeah. And then. Get ready again for the evening performance, which was so fun. I know. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> oh my god. You're just staying in there. This is the poo stained rug. Disgusting. Yeah. Right, let's fill his water. Yes. And he's got poo in his feet. <laughs> I just get a bit of water. Panda pants. Panda pants. Oh, you've all got that throat. So we are just warming up for the evening performance now and it's basically, oh, do you, got, do you like our line as well guys? It was kind of a fail like our class was, but anyways, um, this is where the, like the certain classes, their like results are given in at the end of the day and it's in a massive arena with all spotlights and you get to wear navy jackets and put loads of sparkle on and it's really, really fun and we're just... So yeah, we're just warming up for the evening performance now and me, Claudie, Rolo and Panda are going to find out how we did in the unmatchy pairs. So now we're heading into the evening performance and Panda actually has a little spooky duke at the crowd. He gets a little bit scared, but Rello's like, come on, I'll just go on the outside and save you from trotting next to the crowd. But they were both really good after that and you can't really blame Panda because it's his, his first ever evening performance. And yeah, I'm so proud of them both and we're not expecting anything too big. If we were to win, that would be absolutely amazing we're not expecting anything too grand. Our show was very, very unpracticed and unpolished, but definitely next year we'd love to do a proper unmatchy pairs where it's a bit more organized. We came fifth and I'm so, so happy because I really thought we were gonna come last, but we didn't because there were six in the class and we came fifth. But yeah, super, super proud of the both and can't wait for next year's evening unmatchy pairs performance. So, just having our breakfast. Rodo's had his breakfast. And Panda has as well. A bit of fresh grass. Oh, I hope you don't knock that table over. He's right onto your feet. So, I went to the shop, got some milk. It's sunny at the minute, but it's meant to be raining just as Harlow's in her class. Not good timing. 
so and i think it's going to be a lot of rain today so that's not going to be fun nope. so this is our only class of the day it's the m m first ridden and it's a hoist qualifier so there was about 30 ponies in this as well and we ended up coming fifth which i was super pleased about rollo was absolutely amazing the weather really hasn't been that kind to us today because there has been a lot a lot of rain it's made it really difficult to film because we have to put the camera away and dry it because it's the camera's getting wet and then oh it's just been absolute chaos Can I just apologise for the lack of footage we've got today? It's just been absolute manic. It's been raining like since five minutes before our class, so we couldn't even like do any filming because everyone was crammed under like four oak trees and everyone was just sat standing under there. So it was it was carnage and as soon as it started raining, literally a stampede of ponies started trotting over to this like oak tree. And it was so cramped, like our ponies were bum to bum. But it, yeah, it was, it was not good. Brello had his Hoy's first ridden class today. And he was absolutely amazing in it. He was such a good boy. And um, when I was doing my confirmation, it actually started to rain a little bit as well. Cause it like stopped, then it rained, then it stopped, and then it like poured it down. Um, so it was raining a little bit during my confirmation, but he was absolutely amazing. He didn't really care about it. So we were pulled in fifth and Brolo did an amazing show. And I think mum actually filmed a bit of my show as well. But after when I came out, we were just like, it is, there's no point being here anymore. Everything is just caked in mud now. It's so wet. wet. To be honest, it was a bit of a babbington all over again, wasn't it mum? Yeah. Me and mum are absolutely exhausted. We had to do so much. We were like carrying hay nets there and back non-stop. No, it wasn't, it wasn't that, that it was that it was hard. It was so far. It, oh my God, the whole spot was like 10 minutes away from the stables. And then you want to go to the shop to get the milk in the morning. That was like another 20 minutes on top. And then everything was just so far. We've just been busy, busy girls. We've done a lot of walking and we're very, very tired. Um, and a lot of carrying stuff. A lot of carrying stuff. And it didn't really help that we didn't have a wheelbarrow. So we had to put everything in a bucket and go there and back to the muck heap. <laughs> We had no room for a wheelbarrow. We had no room for a wheelbarrow, and to be honest, we've still got about 20 hay nets left. <laughs> we, we Rolo's got his, he his head collar off about God knows how many times now in the horse box. There and back, he's got it off, and he tries to bite Panda's knees under the partition. He's biting his ankles. He's biting his ankles and biting his knees. Panda's like, Panda's like, smudged up to the wall as much <laughs> as possible <laughs> to try and get away from this little pony bite it's the little crocodile we've had such an amazing time and we've had a really lovely time despite the rain but i am ready to get into my own bed tonight guys oh i'm ready and actually be able to sleep in one layer of pajamas <laughs> not four last night i slept in four t-shirts and a jumper with two socks and then two pajama bottoms it's not glamorous at all we tried to film as much as we could guys i hope you enjoy it and see you in the next vlog bye